Hi, I'm Peter Carney from cityfoodgrowers.com.au It's a Saturday afternoon and uh, today we're going to be talking about planting peas. Peas are a beautiful crop to grow in any garden at the right time of the year. Our gardener subscription on our website can tell you when you should plant peas no matter where you live in Australia, New Zealand and the USA. So when growing peas, uh, it's uh, uh, this, this garden here, we have uh, a raised garden bed. And here we have this amazing crop of, uh, of peas that uh, are now nearly two metres high. Uh, they've been in for about eight weeks now. We have white flowered and uh, purple flowered peas here. And this bed here is also going to be all peas down here. And we have another bed of peas over there which has been in for about six weeks. So with three beds of peas, we'll have a continuous crop of peas over a uh, three to four month period. And it's important if you want to keep extended production of peas and you like peas as we, our family does, that you put in crops over time. So one of the great things about peas is they don't need really rich soil um, and they produce a lot, of, uh, a lot of food for a small amount of space. In our Gardener Subscriber website you can search 130 other vegetables and herbs based on their ease of growing or the amount of space. So you can search there for other plants to plant with your peas. and. Uh, companion plants. There's lots of plants that like to grow with peas, that grow really well and they actually help the peas. Uh, so, your pea bed. Here's the bed that we're going to plant some peas in today. And the first thing before you, you plant any peas is to prepare the bed. And this bed is, is, is raised, as you can see, it has a very light mulch on it because this position is in full sun. And uh, we've already put the climbing frames in this bed. And it's very important to put your climbing frame in before you plant, otherwise you'll disturb the peas as they're growing. So this is simple bamboo and chicken wire, nothing too sophisticated at all and the planting spots are all along here so this bed is probably uh, about 10 meters long and just under a meter wide and we'd be planting say 30 at least 30 peas in here and interplanted with leafy crops okay so let's let's just uh, um, have a look at planting these peas so we have a ball of nice compost here which is from our compost process and the pea, the pea seeds. These pea seeds are all from uh, um, the plants that we grew last year and we saved. Uh, when you're planting the seeds it's important to not plant them any deeper than uh, one and a half times the diameter of the seed. Otherwise, the, uh, the seeds will struggle to come up. Um, and pea seeds should come up within about seven to 10 days at this time of the year, uh, when it's a little warmer, it'll be faster. Um, in our Gardener Subscriber website, we have times for every crop on when they should come out. And it's really important to, to study that because if you put in your seeds and you wait three or four weeks and nothing has happened, then um, perhaps your seeds are no good. Um, maybe you're not watering them, but uh, that's an important uh, thing to watch when you're planting seeds is the time it's supposed to take for them to come up. Okay, so we planted that seed. There's another bunch there. We'll put another seed in there. Okay. This bed has already been watered, so it's nice to actually have the material that you're planting in already moist so you don't disturb the soil too much. 
Um, it is after three o'clock and, and it's really good to plant in the afternoon. Once the peas are underway and coming up, sometimes you may need to help them to attach themselves to your climbing frame. And you know, you can also eat the pea leaves. They're, they taste the same as the peas themselves. Um, so not too many pests really attack peas in my experience. They're, they're quite robust. And they'll keep producing for a long time. They love the sun, so don't try to grow them in a, in a spot where it's shady. Uh, it's another thing on our site, on our Gardener Subscriber site, you can search all plants by their sun profile as well. If you've got a very shady garden, peas are probably not the thing to grow. Uh, maybe you have a, a particularly sunny spot in your garden where you could grow them. Okay, so that's... Uh, that's all on growing peas today and please visit our website at citifoodgrowers.com.au and check out our Gardener subscriber offer. Thank you.